Here's how to set up a Shelly Smart Automation module on your Wi-Fi network and connect it to the Shelly Cloud app. Open the Shelly app. Tap the menu up in the top right corner of the screen. Then select Add Device. The Shelly app determines which Wi-Fi network you're already connected to. The first time you add a device, you'll need to enter the name and password for your Wi-Fi. The Shelly app can remember the credentials for adding future devices, as you see here. Tap Next. The app instantly displays any Shelly products in range that you can add to your Wi-Fi. Select each device you want to add, making sure that the checkbox is marked. Then tap Include Devices. Shelly will now connect to the selected devices and save your Wi-Fi credentials to each module. As soon as the app disconnects from each, the Shelly modules automatically join your Wi-Fi network. For some phones, the Wi-Fi controls may require additional actions, like tapping OK on confirmation messages. Once the new Shelly devices have been included, the app returns to the main screen, but now displays a section titled Discovered Devices, along with a success message. Tap Discovered Devices to continue. Select one of the devices listed here by tapping Click to Add. The next screen prompts you to enter a name for the device, select a room to group the module in, and to select a picture. You can use one of the default images, upload a picture from your phone, or take a new picture with your camera. You can also set if this module will be used to control lights or used as relay for some other type of circuit. Tap Save Device. The app next prompts if you want to connect the new module to the Shelly Cloud Service, which I do here. The Cloud Service is an addition to your local control and will not interfere with any connections to other smart home hubs or platforms. It's an additional level of control from outside your local network. Once this step is completed or skipped, the new module is available for use in the Shelly app. The process is very similar for an iPhone or iPad. Open the Shelly app and tap the menu in the top right corner of the screen. Select Add Device. If you haven't already saved your Wi-Fi network credentials, enter them here. Tap Next. Choose the device type that you're adding, in this case, a Shelly One Relay. The Shelly app will search for your Shelly One Relay and then prompt you to join its network. Once it is connected to your Shelly One, it saves the Wi-Fi credentials and disconnects, allowing the relay to join your network. After it has found the new module on your network, a success message is displayed and Discovered Devices displays. Tap Discovered Devices to access the new module, then tap Click to Add. Just like the Android setup process, you will enter a device name, select a room to group the device in, and select a picture, as well as whether you're setting it up as a light or general relay. When you tap Save, you're prompted to select if you will connect the relay to Shelly Cloud. Once the connection to Shelly Cloud is made or skipped, the new relay is available in the app. If your mobile device has trouble provisioning a module or including it in your network, there's an easy way to configure Shelly products yourself. On your mobile device, go to Wi-Fi. When the available networks display, look for one named Shelly. It will also have the model number and a unique ID making up the rest of the SSID name. Join this Shelly network. 
If you're prompted with a warning that the network does not have internet access, tap OK or Allow to continue with the connection. Go to your mobile's web browser. Navigate to the address 192.168.33.1 to reach the Shelly Modules web server. Tap Internet and Security. Select Wi-Fi Mode Client. Mark the checkbox labeled Connect the Shelly to an existing Wi-Fi network. Enter the SSID or name of the Wi-Fi network. Enter its password and tap Save. The Shelly module will now disconnect your mobile from its access point and attempt to join the Wi-Fi network you specified. Notice that when you now launch the Shelly app, the Discover Devices option is displayed. That's because the app has already found your new Shelly module. We can go here to set up the device as we did earlier in the video. There's another option, however, which is useful in case your mobile connects to a different Wi-Fi SSID on the same WAN, or if the app does not discover the devices. You can add the module by its IP address. Go back to the app, tap the menu, and select Add Device by IP. Enter your module's IP address and tap Check Device. You're now able to set up the Shelly device the same as if you'd added it through Discovered Devices. In order to use this method, you have to obtain the Relay's IP address. If you're not familiar with how your router works, you can probably use a free network scanning app to help you get the IP address. Shelly modules only work with 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi networks. So if you try connecting to a 5 GHz network, setup will fail. No matter what method you use to connect your Shelly module to the app, double check your Wi-Fi password if you experience problems. When you provide incorrect credentials, the Shelly module will attempt to connect for three minutes, then return to AP mode, allowing you to set it up again.